passionate about music. Now we're very excited because Soho Pink Sunday is back. There's a massive event happening at Low Profile and we have a superstar in the studio who is going to be doing a live PA on Sunday night at Super Love at Low Profile, Alexis Houston. Oh, wow. Radar. wow. Actually, my pleasure. Shouldn't we say Dr. Alexis Houston? <laughs> Brains, yeah. beauty and, you know, the works. My, my goodness. My mother would love to hear that. Would she? Well, I've, put, <laughs> again I've said that again. <laughs> especially for your mother. So you, you studied medicine before you got into singing? or you? Well, actually, it, they kind of worked hand in hand, side by side. Oh, oh, would you okay. sing the opera? <laughs> oh, I need you in my life. A singing doctor. The NHS that's need perfect. you. Alexis, they need you. Because <laughs> wow. that's great treatment as well. well I think so. Music yeah. therapy. <laughs> Quite it's good stuff. Definitely but good stuff. a lot of doctors have music on when they're um, operating as well, don't they? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very calming. It's very soothing. And um, yeah. It's, I, I hear it's they listen to your album when they're performing. They should. Yeah, they should do. If they're not, they should. Yeah. Is that Speak Love Life Lessons? Oh, very yes, good. Yes, it is. You did ask, so yeah. of course it. Uh, now, let's, tell us a bit about you. Where are you from originally? How did you get started? Um, I'm from New Jersey, New York, right. New Jersey. Um, okay. I've been singing um, all my life. I think before I learned to even talk properly, I was probably singing or humming a tune somewhere. Um, and um, I've been um, I've been writing and producing um, all through high school and university. And I really wanted to have a a career as a writer producer. I got inspired by Missy Elliott and all these oh, female producers oh, wow. who are yeah. behind the scenes and making things happen. And uh, I got uh, approached by uh, Paul Russell, an executive over at Sony ATV Music Publishing, and he said, oh, you really should record some of your own songs. And, um, well, here we are. What is it that you can do with this through song that you n can't necessarily do through just... Uh, standing and talking to people and it is it's about communicating well, on a deeper level isn't it i think so i think i think it's probably a little easier through song to me um, um there are there are speakers who can get up there and just move you to tears just by words um i'm i'm i guess a, li a little bit lazy and that's why i use music and lyric <laughs> but what's your message my message um oh neil that's a deep that's a good one it depends it depends neil um the message um from this album it's it's, I guess, love. Um, love in its various forms and how it uh, has impacted on my life and the lessons I've learned from it. Um, these are all personal experiences. I've written every song on this album except for one. One, I did a Denise Williams cover called Free. Oh, I love that song. Oh, do, no, do, you do, just, do, do, uh, do. oh please yeah. don't ruin it, Sorry. Neil. <laughs> oh. and, um, but these are my personal experiences, and I wanted to write about things that I knew about fully. Um, and ultimately... These are other. Exp I mean, these are the experiences of other people who can identify with these um, with these songs um, to show that you know, I guess we're all in this human collective um, journey, and um, that was my message. Um, the next record, God knows what it's going to be about. I thought well, that was the title of it. I thought, well, that's interesting. <laughs> God knows what this is about. <laughs> well, it could be, it could be, couldn't you it? You are a big fan of George, aren't you? What have you been reading? Well, I'm more in love with you know. now. I Somebody really asked it on your... Because you, you're brilliant at uh, your Twitter and on your website there, and you've got a little uh, uh, a fan base there that people can ask you questions. Yes, and somebody yes. asked you who, who you'd like to work with oh as an artist, gosh. and you said George, didn't yes, you? And yes. we love George. Oh, yeah. We absolutely love him. Everybody should. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a big fan of his since, I guess... Uh, um, I was maybe eight or nine years old. I just thought, um, and when I realized he was a songwriter and, and, and a performer, I thought, gosh, what a total package. And plus, he's good to look at, too. <laughs> I, I hear that. I hear that. <laughs> so, have you, have you been in touch with him? Have you had any? Not at all. Not at oh. all. I can help you out there. Really? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. We're, we're De now best friends. We're Debbie best friends. Debbie stalks him. <laughs> this is not, yeah, sadly, this <laughs> isn't a joke. You, yeah. um, his house is in Goring. I could probably take you around the back. <laughs> Great. I've got sunglasses. A Great. We're and going. Hat. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> is there a particular track you'd like to do, or would you like to write something? Would you? I mean, you could write with them, presumably. Absolutely, yeah. that's really what I would like to to be able to do is to write with someone um, who, and also to, to to see his process. I am very fascinated by a lot of the music that he has written and produced over the years, and um, he's just a huge talent. And I think that I can learn a lot just by um, being in his, his presence. Now, listen, it's a big weekend for London. Soho Pink Sunday is back. Um, do you enjoy working to a gay crowd? 
I enjoy working to any crowd that's yeah. receptive to the music. <laughs> <laughs> well, the gays uh, are, we are, aren't we? <laughs> totally. Super Love is on Sunday night at Low Profile. It's uh, sort of a massive end to the big uh, the big day itself. Uh, you're going to be on stage. What are you going to be performing? I'll be doing um, some of the dance remixes from the album. <gasps> oh, we've been listening to these. Yes. Yes. Oh, incredible. I was saying I like, like um, Change. Oh, well, this is on through Good. your website, which is well, fabulous. We'll be doing that. Oh, we'll be good. doing um, perhaps two more, two or three more of the songs from the album. Um, the tour is is titled The Bringing My Love Tour, and the opening song will probably be Bringing My Love to You. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, good well, I just number. melted a little bit oh, no, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we noticed that, would you be having any of your very sexy dancers with you? Oh. Absolutely. Here we go. The deep questions no, from I, Neil. I, I just happened to see a clip of you on YouTube on this morning, okay. and you had some, they were very, they were lovely. They, were they are, aren't they? <laughs> well, they're your friends as well, aren't I, they? You've I, worked with them for... I love my gents. I yeah. do love them, and they're, and they're very talented. Very talented guys. Good to look at, aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> this is a Sunday night at Low Profile Super Love, and uh, it's, I think it's going to be a great night. It's going to be a great day as well, actually. It's going to be, be fantastic. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, another little thing I noticed on uh, on one of the forums, you were chatting about various things, and um, your your attitude perhaps has evolved as, you, as you've grown uh, uh, towards gay marriage. Yes. Oh, you have been reading. Mm, yeah. Because oh, I was interested to say, because you were saying, you know, in the, in the, because of your teachings in the past, you were perhaps a little bit, maybe a bit closed mind. Yeah. I mean, I guess as a child, I thought, well, what's the point, really? Um, but as I've gotten older and I've um, encountered more and experienced more and, and met more people and I, and I have a better and a deeper understanding of what it's about, I, I see no reason why, no reason why two people who love each other um, shouldn't be able to marry and have equal rights under the law like everyone else. Um, this is no different than the human rights efforts of the 60s in the United States for, um, for, for African Americans to get equal um, respect and no different than, I guess, the suffragette movement, movement for women. Um, we, we are all people who are entitled to be given um, and um, equal rights and, and treated equally as well and fairly. And how do you think we can sort of maybe start trying to change a few minds of other people who are a bit more stuck in their, their ways with the their Michelle religious Bachmans beliefs? The Michelle Backmans and the Sarah yeah, Palins yeah. of this world. Ooh, well, that hurt to say that. Do? Hurt you know? to say those names. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to see that you... Heimlich, um, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> The thing is... Um, What's important is how we, how, how we as people present ourselves. Um, I, I was raised always to not think about the fact that I'm a woman or that I'm African American. But I just think, I mean, but to think that I am somebody who has something to contribute and to walk with a certain sense of pride. I think if we all carry ourselves with a sense of pride and dignity, people will be forced to recognize. And that, um, and that includes everyone. <laughs> Please, can we have you for Prime Minister? Yeah, I'll just make it really? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll put a request in. about music.